Am I on the mic here? Yeah, you're on the mic. Hello, and welcome to episode two. Today, this is the infamous Chuck Stu Show. Coming to you live from the podcast, radio show from Tucson, Arizona. And like always, who we have as the co-host of the show, the man who has all the answers for anything that has to do with anything medical in the field, Dr. Pearl Seuss's book. Yes, this is my Dr. Pearl Seuss's book, a.k.a. Red Hefner, a.k.a. Yo Boy, Black Bauer, with all the AKs. So here I am, Dr. Pearl Seuss's book, here with Chuck Stew. This is episode two of uh, our new season, uh, and, and we're really kicking things up a notch. Bam! With the season. So Chuck, what we got on the docket today? We're going to be talking about a few different things, and I am under the weather right now. Both me and the doctor are sick. We both caught the same virus. So, uh, I think it's Ebola. I'm not sure. But, so, yeah, I had a little too much chicken. But, uh, you know, bird flu, it's going to go through my system and be shitting blood in two hours. Fuck it. So, <laughs> we need to make a show here. We need to get down to the nitty gritty of uh, what's <laughs> going on for uh, last two years, maybe three years. Uh, so what we're going to be talking about <laughs> today is uh, this uh, group of people. I think you've heard of them. They're called. Uh, they're called. I got it from the dumpster. <laughs> Dr. Pearl's used to book accidentally just broke uh, the chair. Fuck shit. Dr. Book. Chair. <laughs> this chair is bullshit, dude. Like, what the fuck, man? <sighs> okay, continue. Sorry. So, uh, conspiracy theory we're going to be talking about today for our first segment is ISIS. You've probably heard of them. Are they starting World War Three? Dr. Pearl's used a book. What is your opinion on uh, this group of people? Because we've talked about them, I don't know how many times already. Well, well, here's the thing. Okay, ISIS is, is starting to get to be a world issue. Uh, as you can tell, they caused the they caused the attacks on France, and that got France included into it. And so you had some French militia go in and just take out some ISIS groups. So we're starting to get other countries involved, whereas it used to be just ISIS and the U.S. But now there's other countries involved. Uh, and so, yes, it is a possibility that it will end up end up being a world war. The thing is, is I just don't see see ISIS having the militia required to handle multiple countries. Uh, and so, I think that like before it even becomes a world war, it'll just end up just like ISIS will just be destroyed because France and U.S. and everyone else will just join forces together and destroy them. Whatever it takes, we'll we'll take them out because you know, that's America. Yeah, it's a. Uh... You know, it's just when it comes to ISIS, you know, they're really, really yeah, I mean, they, t uh, I guess today they took over another capital of wherever they're at, like Iraq or something, and it's kind of like... Let's see if they take over a capital of a state, like seriously, like, come over and take over Phoenix, like, see what happens, like, nothing's gonna happen, they're not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, they're, uh, they're just a bunch of people who are swinging around their swords, they're promoting all this hatred and doing all this shit and like I found out that like uh, in uh, some news sources that a lot of the people who fight in ISIS are like fucking animals and shit but uh like one dude got caught having sex with a donkey who is an ISIS soldier but I mean it's just like yeah you can try to run like things in one country where the shit was already an anarchy to begin with in the fucking Middle East but I think you're really just, I mean, for Akbu, if, if he's still alive, whoever's running ISIS right now, you, you got to you gotta think to yourself, are you trying to be like Hitler after taking over Poland and you're going to try to just like take down multiple countries, like an entire continent like, by yourself with, I'm not saying that they're not a powerful threat, but it's just them trying to blow smoke up everyone's asses. They're all saying like, oh, we're corrupt because of our government and we shouldn't exist because of our greed and like all these things. But it's like, yeah, but okay, but you're, that doesn't give you justification. Just come down here and behead kids. Like, like what the fuck's the matter with you? 
Yeah, they 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 going cray. I, that's the thing. It's like they talk about World War Three. I don't, just don't think it, I don't see it going to that. Uh, there were a lot of other things going on when you know World War One and Two happened, and and I just don't see it happening. So I mean, like, I, I, it just it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's one of those conspiracies that people talk about as rumors, but you know, it just you know, really logically, if you think logically, it just doesn't make. Yeah, their army is just, I mean, it's just not big enough. It's just not going to work. I know a lot of people are fearing, like I heard on uh, NPR the other day, that uh, their uh, militia are mad at Obama because of the whole him trying to take every way, uh, every, trying to take everyone's guns away from them, stating that, like, oh, it's mentally, like, challenged people who are doing these things, and then ISIS is coming around and kind of doing the same shit like American soldiers of ISIS or whoever these people swear their allegiance to. But it's like a thing where it's like there's more... Th- I mean, there was also a thing that also talking about World War Three. Apparently, I, was, I read this on a news article that uh, fucking on uh, March 6th, so in two months, apparently there's some secret thing going on in the UN or whatever where... Uh, fucking Vladimir Putin and whoever is the governor of China or, or the president. Ch- yeah, Chang says that uh, both of them had had enough of our country and both Russia and China are going to de- declare war against us and nuclear warheads are going to be shot off. So, uh, what's going on with that? Well, here's the thing. All right. So, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, to be honest. We, we, U.S. and China kind of, like, get together. We, we do things together, like, trades, and, you know, we ship things, and, and, and it doesn't make any sense, you know? I don't think they would, they would, they would be that annoyed with us in order to start a war, so. I think that they're just, you know, blowing smoke. I think it's just people talking shit, and, you know, we're not gonna listen to that shit no more, are we? Uh, I just want to get your opinion on because Vladimir Putin, uh, he was talking about a couple months ago that yeah that guy that he just uh, believes that our government's full of a bunch of little pussy bitches and that <laughs> Obama doesn't want to take the stance to go down there and just destroy entire villages and fucking he wants to just bomb everything that has to do with ISIS and eliminate or errat or liquidate terrorism uh but yeah i don't know what, what do you what do you what do you think about that topic well i think putin's right our, our government's full of little pussy bitches that sounds that's that's, a, that's the fucking quote i love that shit <laughs> that makes sense to me because you're real seriously democracy does not fucking work and our, our government sucks really like we we just haven't done been able to do shit in the last like eight years we haven't been able to do shit in the last 20 years, to be honest. So it's like we've been fucking running in place, trying to, like, maintain our status as a world power, when in fact we really are falling behind all these other countries that are doing shit. So he's right. He's 100% right. And it's sad to say, but it just makes me laugh now at this point because I can't I can't even defend our country, honestly. Like, they're, they're just little pussy bitches. Well, if we wait to go back to our topic when it comes to World War Three. Uh, I mean, with World War Three, you gotta really take into account that you know when it came to World War One, only certain countries were fighting. Same thing in World War Two. It's not all 120 fucking countries and provinces. But if the majority of the world is at war, then I guess okay, it's World War Three and ISIS and the Middle East are uh, supposedly they're trying to take out anyone who is of the West. So Vladimir Putin said, "I ain't having that shit." And you know how epic he is with him shooting fucking harpoon guns while riding a horse through fucking dolphins' heads and shit without wearing a shirt. I mean, he's just... Uh, that man, he's all man. And uh, so, I mean, do you think that ISIS... I mean, ha- how much more time are you going to give these guys until it's just n- it's just a guerrilla small faction? I mean, they've always been really a guerrilla small faction. I think it's just like they've gotten a lot of press because of the French or Shacks. The France attacks and, you know, the, the, the minor attacks on us, you know, here in America. But the thing is, is, like, if we really buckle down and really try to take them out, like, they would be gone in, like, a couple of days. Like, it's, it's not even a question. I think that, 
I, I, I don't, I can't even explain what the military force is like nowadays. Like why, why we do the things we do, but it just seems like it takes such, such a long time to just take care of everything. Like we know we can take care of certain things very quickly, but we, yeah, we just choose not to do it. And I don't know why. I mean, if ISIS is such a threat, like they, they I, I haven't, I mean, like if, if they're such a threat, why don't we just take their asses out already? I mean, we have the greatest military force in the world. Like, what are we doing? We're just fucking just pussyfooting around. Like, it, it gets to the point where you know, Putin must be right. We are pussy bitches because if we don't just take care of business, like, what are we doing? We're just over there, like, you know, playing fucking tag with these guys. And it's just like bullshit to me. You know, it's like. Obama, you've got a couple months left, so you need to have your finger on the button, but the button won't be pressed because liberals are the new Nazis. We'll be right back. Drink fucking Hornsby. I know I tell you this every fucking goddamn week, but this is the thing. You gotta fucking drink some Hornsby. Listen, listen to me, goddamn it. Listen to me fucking right now. Drink some goddamn Hornsby. This is what I'm, I'm drunk off of right now. I'm drinking Hornsby, and I am fucking feeling good as shit. And you know what? I'm going to wake up tomorrow, and I'm not going to have any kind of goddamn hangover. I'm going to feel pretty good. That's because I drink Hornsby. So drink that shit. Hornsby hard cider. Get it at your no local fucking establishments. It's like six ninety nine. The cheapest shit you can find outside of the swill piss beer. So go drink it, motherfuckers. God damn you. Go kill yourselves. Chuck. Hello and welcome back to the Chuck Stew Show. I am the host. So, uh, what we're going to be talking about today uh, for the second segment is that there is a conspiracy uh, going around where uh, um, fucking Chris Columbus he sailed to try to sell to India, but he ended up coming here. And then he thought everybody was Indian, and then they kept saying, no, we're not Indian. There's 300 different tribes of natives. I don't know what the fuck that Cherokees and, you know, whatnot. And he was like, ah, you're Indians. And so uh, there was some uh, conspiracy theory about the fact that dinosaurs apparently back in 1492 were still walking the earth. And, uh, I mean, there was, that movie came out recently, uh, Jurassic World with Chris Pratt. And I uh, saw some videos on the shit that I didn't even know about in school until recently. A lot of those dinosaurs um, had feathers. So, they're like, okay. So, That's true. Uh, and, and I found out that the velociraptors are, in fact, like the size of chickens. Yeah. The fuck? I never heard that. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're, not, they're not the big ones that you think. They're the size of fucking chickens. Like. Really? The size of chickens? Is that why the chicken is the closest ancestor? Well, yeah. supposedly, uh, Chris Columbus, back when he was uh, fucking shit up, he had bones of different dinosaur, like fossils, but apparently they weren't fossils. They were like, they were like new bones or something. Like they were just newly, it's like he, he collected the bones after fucking eating them or slaying them or whatever. So, uh, slaying them. <laughs> yeah, slaying them. Slinging them? What does that even fucking mean? <laughs> You know, he'd be on his plantation, dinosaur comes, he fucking clotheslines it, and then uses the bones to uh, cut the hands off the Native Americans who wouldn't dig for his gold. So, that's just another uh, example of white people fucking shit up in history. Literally. But, so Dr. Pearl's use some book, uh, this has been a heated debate for millennia over the fact of when the fuck these dinosaurs died... Because all the scientists all over the place are saying, well, because of carbon basing, carbon dating, I mean, that, well, this one's 100 million years old, or this one's 100 billion years old, or this one's 7 billion. Like, nobody really knows, oh, maybe a meteor came down and fucking st struck the land. It's like, okay, well, how was Chris Columbus fucking getting down with the dinosaur pack then if apparently they were still alive? So what, what do you think happened as to how they became extinct? Listen, here's the thing. I think that science is 100% correct when it comes to the dinosaurs. I do not believe that dinosaurs and humans existed uh, together. I, I, I just don't believe it. I mean, I know the Bible has that fucking verse that, that mentions uh, a behemoth that 
that resembles a dinosaur, and it's like it, it makes sense that that's all it could be. But here's the thing: it doesn't make any sense how all the dinosaurs died out when the humans still lived. It, it really doesn't make any sense. There had to have been some kind of catastrophe that killed all the dinosaurs before the before humans were on the earth, because it would have killed the humans too. You know, it just doesn't make any sense to me, and I just like. I, 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 it's something we'll probably never know, and it's something that, you know, because the carbon dating obviously is highly incorrect, and it's very spurious of a fucking subject, and we don't even know if it's true or not. We'll probably never know the true answer to this, but I just don't see humans and dinosaurs coexisting. Maybe it's just because I, I'm the Jurassic Park generation, where all dinosaurs want to do are eat the humans. And there's nothing that they want to do. Maybe they were kept as pets back then. I, I, I don't fucking know. But I just don't see it happening. I just don't see it to be really accurate. So what do you think? Starvation, Meteor, or Rick Ross? I would say Rick Ross, definitely. They have... Uh, well, I mean, there's still dinosaurs around today. Chickens. Uh, alligators are supposedly and crocodiles are supposedly from that time and fucking great white sharks. Yeah, it's, they're evolved versions of the, rep, the reptiles. I, I know that reptiles evolved from dinosaurs, sure, but I mean, come on, like we don't see any like half fucking dinosaur, half lizard creatures around anymore, do we? The dinosaurs died, and then whatever fucking cells were left are what became the reptiles now. Well, also, uh, it just came to mind here that uh, there's a bunch of different tribes of people in Papua New Guinea in the mountains, mountain regionous areas. And uh, apparently, uh, uh, a couple years ago, some uh, archaeologists went in and asked if uh, they knew where they could dig for fossils, bones. And they showed them pictures of like a book of like different dinosaurs. And they pointed at a picture of one of those ones. It was a giant bird one. It was like nine feet tall or some shit. And they said, yeah, that those things are in the river, but it's not bones. Like, the, they're there. Like, the dinosaurs are here in Papua New Guinea. And so I looked it up. I did some, inform I did some research on it and found that only 2% of the forest mountain region of Papua New Guinea have been explored by people and researched. Apparently, these tribes who can hardly fucking speak English have seen them on a consistent basis of all these different dinosaurs. That we thought were extinct. What, what, what's your opinion on that? But how, how could they fucking centralize in one island? Like, what fucking coincidence is that? Like, all the dinosaurs just happen to fucking meet together and say, hey, let's live on this fucking island. Let's never leave this island. That doesn't make any sense. Like, how would they? I don't know. Job, chapter 20, verse 22. The tail was as long as a cedar. Giant redwood. I'm thinking um, that uh, life used to be like that Disney movie where people were riding dragons and people <laughs> so the dragons and the dinosaurs coexisted with the people and they were all friends but I mean you gotta give Disney some credit I mean yeah Walt Disney was a fucking Nazi supporter but that's another that's another topic for a different time but uh, so dinosaurs are still here. They're just in different forms, like chickens and lizards. And lizards, the reptilian creatures. But uh, you know, I, I can uh, I can see the point as to how like why the fuck would they just be in Papua New Guinea? But then, if you also think about it, only two percent of the entire ocean to ocean's floor all around the world, ninety eight percent of it has not been looked at or examined or studied by humans yet in 2016. So I guess they could be still living underwater. There could be a whole fucking mass civilization of Atlantis down there with mermaid people. We just don't, we just don't fucking know. We just don't know what's down there. We need more research. We need more money for submarines. that can deep dive down plus 200, 250,000 feet. It's got to go down there. We got to go to Papua New Guinea. We got to fucking scorch and bulldoze the whole thing to make a giant mall filled with McDonald's and Walmarts. So, uh, uh, That's a good idea. that, okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. Bye. You bitch. <laughs> Fuck all y'all.
You little hoes. Hello. Welcome. Have a seat. Get some popcorn. Let's have a soda. I want to talk to you about Game Boy Advances. Today, it's just a thing where the 3DS came out and it has a built-in version. Oh, of a red and blue version from the original of the Game Boy. And it's like, oh, shit. So if you want to, like, go get that, we're not trying to be shills for Nintendo, but I, when we do play video games, it's Nintendo products. If it ain't Microsoft, because fuck Bill Gates and fuck uh, uh, micro, Sony, Microsoft. It's all about Nintendo and Nintendo products. There's a new game system coming out this year, but I keep it classy. Game Boy Advance Freddy Blassie. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, there we are. Welcome back to the Chuck Stu Show. My name is Dr. Pearl Susan Book. As you already fucking know, you better fucking know if you're listening by now. I mean, it's been like fucking, what, 17 episodes? Like, come on. Uh, we got a little snack here in the studio, and we're just trying to, we're trying to, like, apologize for the status of this recording, because we know this episode sucks. Uh, but we're working on it, and we got a bombshell for you as the last conspiracy. So what do you think, Chuck? What What is it that we're talking about now? So, yes, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm fucking annoyed because the cat won't um, just shove its tail in its mouth. But, uh, so we got a bombshell for you. It's true. It's true. Intelligence, integrity, intensity. That, that explains Chuck. And, uh, so the bombshell we got for the... I'll release the bombshell. Um, the bombshell is Donald Trump is actually a Democrat. And he's just pretending to be a Republican. Um, so there's a couple of theories that we've actually like been looking at about this. The fact that in 2008, Donald Trump supported Obama's campaign, which would indicate that he is a Democratic supporter. Uh, also, the fact that recently... Hello, Presley. Recently... Uh, Hillary Clinton has uh, has voiced her approval of Donald Trump, though we can't read too much into this, though, because uh, the polls have lately shown that if Donald Trump is the Republican nomination, he cannot win the presidential election. Like it's impossible. Uh, the polls show that he that any Democratic candidate will beat Donald Trump in the in the, in the election. Uh, that's just how it is. Which makes sense. Uh, it's it's just how it is. Uh, but you know, you never know. It could be that Donald Trump is working with the Clintons all along. What do you think, Chuck? How do you feel about this? I mean, I, I it was completely shocking to me when uh, I did some research on this one, Mister uh, Donald Trump, because he doesn't strike me as someone who would be Democratic at all. But he's suing municipal waste that heavy metal thrash man. Over the controversial t-shirt of him shooting himself on their shirt. He's suing for quote-unquote defamation of character, which First Amendment will have him uh, have the judge throw that out. So Donald ain't going to win that. But Donald's, uh, I mean, being a secret Democrat, I mean, I'm pretty sure anyone who goes against him, if he does beat Ben Carson in the polls to be, or however the shit works, to have the two go against each other head to head. Uh, yeah, he's going to lose. He's going to lose to either Bernie or Hillary. No one fucking wants Hillary Clinton in. But apparently everybody does. Not not this news station. She wants to take away weed. And uh, she's been in cahoots with the Benghazi bullshit. Even though my dad, Dr. Jugs, male gynecologist, saying it's all a bunch of uh, propaganda bullshit from the Republicans like she really didn't know what was going on over there she didn't know about the ethnic cleansing but who fucking knows yeah she white she's robot and she's uh you know but she will be Donald Trump but Donald Trump I mean he secretly did fund not secretly oh well, yeah he kind of was where he was funding Obama and I mean it's just really confusing to me because he doesn't strike me as a Democrat, like at all, he's a celebrity. He's a celebrity. Most celebrities are Democrats. Really? Well, yeah, I guess that. Yeah, okay. Like, like California was a, a deep state. Oops. Oh, fuck, bitch. <laughs> 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 
Arnold Schwarzenegger ran. And he won California. He was there for like four years or some shit. Eight years. He was the governor. And... But uh, Donald Trump, you know, he's just, uh, you know, uh, everybody is fucking pissed at him. Everybody hates him right now because of the whole thing of him wanting to build a wall to keep out, keep out Muslim people, which, you know, my, my thing is I don't trust the government to begin with. You people should know this already, even though we have a new, uh, we have a new YouTube, uh, network called the Chuck Stew Broadcast Network on YouTube. We're putting all the new episodes, but, uh, so I don't trust the government and whatever it is they're doing or whatever it is they're talking about with Donald Trump and everything has been going on with the war with ISIS and all that crap. And you know, now they're going to, he's talking about building the wall. It's just like, it's racist and I don't think it's going to work seconds. So, I, I don't know. What do you think about the wall thing, about how the Muslims are all up in arms? And, uh, it, it, you know, it's basically a firestorm in the news lately. Well, here's the thing. Like, it's popular opinion for all these right-wing Republicans to say, you know, fuck Muslims, whatever. But the point is, it's racist. You know, it's, it's prejudiced. You know, like, fuck all Muslims? Like, not all Muslims are, like, terrorists. Like, it's not... Like, you know that, right? We're coming up on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And you know Martin Luther King stood for equality of all races, all creeds. Judging people on the content of their character and not their race or anything like that. So I was like, while it may be fun to, like, agree with, you know, Donald Trump about the things that he says or whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Like, come on, like, really, that guy is a president? Like, it's a joke, really. We've been saying it was a joke for the last five years months. ago. Five years ago, if you'd said Donald Trump, everyone would have said, "Well, what a joke! He's just a guy from TV. He says you're right. fired. He's a defendant. He's the guy that says you're fired all the time. All funny. You're fired with the little finger fingers. That's all they would say. Now they're saying, oh, let's, let's lead our country. No, it doesn't make sense. So I just want to say, Donald Trump would be a worse choice ever. Just saying, like it would make our country look like idiots, and we already look like idiots. You know, Putin's looking at us from his fucking tower, his castle in Russia, laughing. It's like America, like they ain't shit. Kim Jong Un, whatever, he's like with America, they ain't shit. Cause we ain't, we ain't shit, really, we ain't. Honestly, what have we done in the past ten years? Nothing. Ever since Bush came into office, we've done nothing. We've been fucking running in place as a little bitch boy country for the last eight years. And we gotta make the change, you know. I'm just saying, we gotta make a change, and it's not Trump. I'm just saying, but that's all I gotta say. This has been a broadcast, the easygoing, jazz style tonight, because I'm sick as a dog, and Dr. Pearl's season boogies feeling pretty good, but uh, he was enjoying a little bit, a little bit of the dirty sprite earlier, and so. Yes, future Dirty Sprite too. I think he's garbage, but he's funny. So it, it bounces out like all my last relationships. But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, we're going to go ahead and end this programming. Uh, thank you for listening to the episode number two. It's going to go back to batshit insanity next week when I'm feeling a lot better and we have some Jaeger in our systems and we will be giving a call to our next uh, guest who's uh, case dog uh, who is a high school teacher in the better suburbs of northern phoenix arizona and we're going to be asking her uh, some questions that we need to have answered so keep listening to our show keep watching the skies keep not believing the mainstream media keep dr pearl's houston books face on your phones and we are signing out. Mm. Mm. These wings are good. I wish you were eating these wings right now. Mm. I want to give a quick uh, shout out to Wings Over Broadway before they close. Wings Over Broadway, you got the good wings. Mm. 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 
<laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah.